Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time and today there's a new monitor in the house from Desview. Desview or Desview, I don't know what the right pronunciation is. But we are going to be looking at this brand new um, monitor, 7 inch, 2600 nits. Is it any good? Without any further ado, let's check this out. Bum. Oh, what's the screen? Sorry, no second camera today. Okay, let me show you on the screen. Let's take this closer. Mm. It was sent for review, by the way. And, uh, and I didn't want to get it because it's no HDMI, no SDI, I mean. I wanted to skip it, but I said maybe I should just get it for, um, to replace the second free world uh, monitor that's bright, uh, with that poor brightness, 400 nits. Um, I'm beginning to get uh, frustrated by that monitor, so this is a good replacement. I love the way it looks like the small HD um, stuff, you know. I like this, I like this. It has a USB here too power on the side two one quarter twenties on each side power on the top three buttons over here power here um one quarter twenty one quarter twenty and two hdmi in hdmi in and out along with the power usb with the one quarter twenty so um yeah usb will power some other device um which is good so, I mean, I can imagine it powering um, the um, Teradek 4K with that USB here. So that's a good thing. Only what I will miss is the, is the hanging stuff. The one that hangs the um, transmitter at the back of the field world. That's, that's going to be my greatest uh, uh, loss if I don't use that. But I have one. I'm going to keep hold on to one and have this one as backup because it's really light actually it feels like it's lighter than the 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 smaller fuel world seven inch the lighter fuel world this is really good so we'll turn it on let me get a battery i have one here and let's see how that plays out all right so do we have any light on it looks like we don't negative from the fuel world it always has this red light here which of course will kill the battery over time anytime you put the battery on the the um what's it called now uh light lamp or turn up what's it called now jeez and um start to burn your batteries okay so i'll set it up and we'll have a look at it. of course there's hd arrow that's good 3d lot Let's see what else is here. So let me turn it off and see if I, there's any tally light showing. There is. Same thing with the fuel. Well, but at least it is lighter. Even with this battery, it is light. It doesn't have much around the screen. It's just about the screen side. And we are talking about metal now. This definitely is more rugged. Even at the back. Woo, take a look at this. And I love these designs. Okay. Oh my God, this is good. I just wish they have this SDI. That's all I need right now. You know, SDI. Well, I'll take it. So they say remove after installation, I guess. So let's let's take this out. Connected. And we we'll see. All right, we we'll see your menu. And we have exposure, focus assist, um, focus and composition, load configuration, display settings, uh, short calls, first color, increase and first color. We have spectrum. 
and then array let's close zebra the histogram I see picking weak average strong nothing is uh, that's a lot okay so no lots in there mark ratio um transparency okay so if you want to do your ratios waveform audio audio check check okay we see we see the audio and then waveform all right so we have a brief run through um that's just gonna be display settings. Anamorphic, ooh, it has anamorphic settings. Um, one, three, one, five, and up to two. That's really good. Battery, battery, freeze. Um, HV, delay, pixel to pixel, zoom. Okay, let's see how the zoom works, okay. Works, works, good, 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 good. So tap twice to bring the menu up. Get back to menu, composition and uh, focus and composition. Uh, picking safe area, grid. Let's get a grid. We want that always. And click. Okay, so here's our grid. Okay, so. Let's look, we have HDR, HLG or PQ, you know, depending on how you what you're shooting, you can choose. I think it has pretty much everything we need. All you have to do is get acquainted and uh, yeah, we can take in lots. How do we get in lots? Okay, USB, okay. Okay, so nice to know. Uh, exposure assist, first color, HDR, composition, focus. All right, display set, settings, backlight, color temperature, updates. Press the sound, check. Pretty much it looks good. It looks like what I would love. Let me know if you guys, anybody has uh, tried this before. All right. So that's our free one. So right now it's flipped up. So I'm going to turn it around uh, and see. So little setback here. Um, while um, I flipped, if you see, I flipped the monitor over. It does. You have to go to the settings. Uh, See if it will flip on its own. It doesn't flip on its own. You have to go into the settings. The fee world does that. That's that's uh, a win out there for fee world. And also, um, when you when you flip the image, the menu still stays flipped. Look at the menu. You still have to operate the menu upside down, even though the image is erect. Uh, well, that's not good. That's not good. But besides that, it's a brighter monitor, and uh, I think uh, it's about the same thing. Oh, we haven't finished unboxing. So let's uh, check what comes in the box. Uh, everything is in here. There's nothing else here. That's nice to know. Let's see. Maybe a charger. Maybe. What is this? A pouch. What do we need this for? has a pouch. I don't know yet if I'm gonna need it, so I'm gonna keep it wrapped up. It has a manual. I already showed you this. Cleaning cloth. Um, whatever this is, like a certificate that it was tested, certified. And this little device here, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's just a key holder for best for best desk view.
some uh, aroma I don't know what is in here we'll check it out we have cord which is HDMI big to small of course which I really don't need for now DTAP which is uh, the um, monitor mount to DTAP CD mount and we have one more HDMI AC we have two HDMI AC I don't understand we have two of these we may have to open up okay so let's open up and figure out what these are so HDMI to oh, micro um, the small HDMI <laughs> Sony and all those uh, um, DSLR cameras okay that's their HDMI so I guess it's two types of HDMI DTAP let's take a look at the DTAP but I like that they brought the DTAP probably short good it's handy I have a couple of these anyway but I'll take it the last one to check oh two more to check two more boxes to look at all right so big to medium which is for Canon M50 no um, Canon 60D and the likes medium US, US um, HDMI medium size HDMI I think it's mini micro I don't know I think it's mini then uh, this guy is micro so I won't be needing any of those for my for my for my uh, monitors or cameras so only this I'll probably use then one more to open is this guy um, probably like a ball head yep I don't want uh, no. these ball heads with shoe mount I don't like maybe I'll use it for a light so let's take a look if we can get it this is how it looks just pretty much uh, similar to the field world only lighter maybe I'll talk about it some other time to, you know and use it a little bit more but the links will be in the description if you want to check it out um, but it looks like a good deal let me know if you guys are already rocking it um, and see what you guys thought about it the field world is 2200 nits which is usually good um, I've used 2000 fewer 2000 nits and I've been satisfied with it daylight yes I use it outside without any hood 2002 is even better but here we have 2006 so this is a winner in terms of brightness and uh, weight and like I said except for that uh, transmitter holder I hope you guys like the video like subscribe comment suggest you know thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace